Hey guys, uh, in this video, we'll be looking at the new features included with the Fluval Smart App version 1.03 firmware update. If you haven't already updated your light unit, we would recommend that you do so first before watching this video. Uh, we have a separate video that shows you how to go about the updating process. The link to that video will be in the top right corner of your screen right now, as well as in the description of this video. Once your light has been updated, you'll have an easier time following along. You'll be able to see the new features included with this firmware update on your own mobile device. For the purposes of this video, I'm using a Plant uh, Nano Bluetooth LED, a Plant 3.0 unit. If you have a Marine 3.0 or an AquaSky LED, uh, your screen will look different from time to time because your, your light unit has different LEDs in it. With that being said, the uh, changes and the new features with this firmware update uh, are very much the same in terms of functionality across the three families of LEDs, so you shouldn't have any problems following along. Uh, so we can get started now. To begin, I'll actually hit the Plant 3.0 that I'm using for this video. The app connects to the device and this window pops up. So the Fluval Smart app is now password protected. The default password is six zeros. I'll enter that now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I can hit the icon on the right of the window, the little I, and that'll show me the password that I've, uh, that I've put in so I can make sure that it's entered correctly. Um, you can change this password. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. If ever you forget the password, you just have to hit on forgot password in this window and that'll bring you through the password recovery process and you'll be able to reconnect to your light. So at this point, I'll hit login. The app connects to the light. We're now on the manual page. Um, so there, there's been no changes to the manual mode, uh, but I can use this opportunity to show you how to change the password. So to begin, you just hit the three dots at the top right of the screen. The find and rename features are now here as well as the modify password feature. So you just hit that, and that'll pop up this window. You can just change the password, set it to whatever you want, and, uh, and you'll be good to go. That's all there is to it. We can head now to auto mode. So auto mode features one of the two exciting changes with this uh, firmware update. A lot of our users wanted to be able to have their night lights on for a certain period of time and then shut off completely until the next morning, and that's now possible. So uh, to do this, to begin setting this up, first you hit sleep, uh, the sleep tab at the bottom of the screen. That'll bring up this window. You can disable and enable this feature as well as set what time uh, it happens at. So let's say I want the lights to shut off completely at 1130. I just have to set that time and hit save. So now the lights will go through their normal daytime cycle then they'll stay at 5% blue until 11.30 and then shut off completely. Uh, you can, of course, um, change the settings as uh, to whatever you want. So for the night, for example, I can also have some pinks and some warm whites on. That's totally up to you what you prefer. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But if you want even more control of your light, you can head over to Pro Mode. So Pro Mode allows the user to independently control each of the color channels uh, of their LED. So to begin setting this up, first hit edit at the bottom of the screen. That'll bring up this screen. Uh, so for example, let's say I want the pinks to come on first, then the blues, and then the three whites together at the end. Uh, so at seven o'clock, the lights are completely off. I select the next time period at eight. Uh, and here I want just the pinks to come on. So I'll slide everything down to zero. Then I'll add another time point. Uh, I'll hit the icon at the bottom left of the screen and I'll set it to nine o'clock. And this one, I want the pinks and the blues to be on. Uh, then I'll set another time point uh, for 11 o'clock. So I'll just set that time, I hit OK. And here I'll have um, all of the color channels on. If I want to change the time of any of these time points, I can just select it and move it around to whatever I want. Uh, Pro mode also allows the user to set uh, a siesta in the middle of the day. So a lot of our users wanted to be able to have the lights uh, coming on in the morning, turning off during the day, and then coming back on in the evening. 
uh, pro mode allows you to do that too. Uh, so to begin setting that up, I'll first delete uh, the time points that I've just set. Like that, I hit the red garbage can at the bottom uh, in order to do so. Uh, so first I'll uh, put the lights all back on at eight o'clock. So we have our, our sunrise period. So here all of the lights go on like so. Then I want my siesta period to begin at, uh, let's say noon, for example. So I set that time. Um, and here all the lights go on. Then by, uh, let's say one o'clock in the afternoon, I want them to all turn off. So I hit the clock icon again, and I set the time to one. And here now all the lights will be off. I want them to stay off until two o'clock in the afternoon, for example. And then I want them to be all back on by uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. I hit OK. And here they go all the way up. And so now I have a siesta in the middle of the day. The lights come on in the morning, turn off at midday and come back on in the afternoon. Uh, it's important to note that you have to have a minimum of four time points and you can have a maximum of 10. So now I just hit save. My changes are now live. Uh, if I want to see these settings in a different format, you can hit overview at the bottom of the screen. And that'll show you uh, what the light is doing at the different times of the day in more of a chart style format. So that's going to do it, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, or conundrums, please leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.